you are welcome to my channel thanks for visiting remembering to subscribe sharing all my presentations and listening to this very one today it will be about a medication two medications in one under the name Duvato. Duvato. Duvato has come under only one brand name, and that is Duvato. But let's break it down. Duvato is containing two drugs, Dolute Gravia and Lamivudin. Duvato was approved in United States in April 2019. And was approved in Canada in the same year, but four months after, so in August 2019. Let me quickly take you through some useful presentations on HIV. Here is HIV prevention, and you can get that when you click on the link below. If you do that, you get full presentation on HIV prevention already published by me. Also, Signs and symptoms of HIV. You can click on this very link and that will take you to signs and symptoms of HIV already published by me. The vital belongs to the class of medications known as antiretroviral. Here, the Dolute Gravia is an integrase inhibitor, while Lamivudin is HIV nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. dosage form only one form that is tablet for per oral use in that case we'll have dolute gravia sodium as 50 milligram and lamin fooding at 300 milligram now administration and i want us to follow this very carefully dovato can be taken with food or without food that's fine but if the vato is to be taken around the same time that the same person will take ancestors lazeti sucravit or buffered medications then there must be a gap two hours before or six hours after must exist if any of this will be taken by the same patient now if the same patient would take iron containing supplements or calcium then you can give the vital with this with iron containing supplements or calcium at the same time but you must add food so i think it's clear now that you cannot give the vital without food and iron containing supplements or calcium you can give iron containing supplements or calcium with Dovato, but must be with food. Uses in HIV 1 infection, but let's remind ourselves truth be told, there's no cure. And also, individual with HIV 1 infection that will be placed on Dovato must have never been given any highly active antiretroviral therapy okay and there must be no history of resistance to either dolutegravia or lamivudin i think this is pretty clear it's meant for hiv1 infection treatment but it's not going to cure it and the individual must have never been given highly active antiretroviral therapy before you start Dovato. So in other words, it's going to be the first agent to be used in HIV-1 infection if you want to go with Dovato. And there should be no history of resistance to dolutegravia or lamivudin when you have not given it before. So how can you know there will even be resistance here? now there are two types of hiv as you are all aware of hiv1 is about 95 percent of all hiv cases and is the one 
forming pandemic HIV and also the one that is aggressive. HIV 2 is less common, less infectious, and less troublesome, less fatal, mostly found in West Africa and neighboring countries. Dosing. Before you know, we start loading the patient with Duvato one tablet once daily, let's do genotypic resistance testing for reverse transcriptase or hepatitis B virus before starting the therapy. And someone will ask, what's the business with hepatitis B virus? Don't worry, in a bit, you know. Response will be less if CD4 is very low, as low as less than 200 cells. We don't give the vital when HIV RN is greater than 5 million copies per meal or when there is hepatitis B virus co-infection, we should not give the vital. And when kidney clearance is less than 30 mils per minute or there is severe hepatic impairment, the use of the vital will become problematic. Mechanism of action. Dolutegravia is an integrase inhibitor which inhibits HIV integrase by binding to the integrase active site, thereby preventing the strand transfer step in retroviral DNA integration. Lamivudine, on the other hand, is a cytosine analog, a reverse transcriptase inhibitor. It inhibits RNA and DNA dependent DNA polymerase activities of reverse transcriptase. Monitoring. We can monitor the effectiveness of this medication by having the CD4 count. Renal function test when it's bad, less than, I mean, creatinine clearance less than 30 mils per minute, we stop using the medication. Liver function test because we're afraid of hepatotoxicity. Arterial blood gases, because lactic acidosis is a possibility with this medication. And of course, complete blood count. Diet. Okay, diet has become an important topic with this medication because you can take Dovato with or without food. So you can take Dovato alone without food, and you can take it with food, that's fine. Um, it can be taken with calcium or iron containing compounds only when you are taking it with food. So, you cannot take Dovato with calcium or iron without food, nowhere. And Dovato is not to be taken at the same time with antacids. Laxatives, sucrophate, or buva medications create a gap two hours before or six hours after. In pregnancy, don't use Dovato. In fact, you have to screen with beta human chronic gonadotrophy before you start Dovato in that woman. If this woman is uh, of the childbearing age. We have to continue contraception while on this medication. So it's pretty important that pregnancy must be ruled out and must be prevented in all childbearing age women taking Duvato. Contraindications. That is when and where we cannot use Duvato. When there is sensitivity to either the lamivudin or the gravia, no duvato. When there is sensitivity to any component of its formulation, we will not use it. Also, in multiple sclerosis, fampiridine is very helpful in them, but anyone that is taking fampiridine should not use duvato. Also, we've just gone through the pregnancy, how important to even rule out pregnancy and maintain the woman out of pregnancy by giving her contraception while on the vato. 
So you can pause again and rewind and check that in pregnancy, no duvato. Still on contraindications, not in HIV RNA greater than 5 million copies, not in hepatitis B virus co-infection, not when the renal system is suffering with creatinine clearance less than 30 mils, not in severe hepatic impairment. Drug-drug interaction. The list is pretty long, so kindly contact your pharmacist and clinical pharmacologist. Consider the note under the diet above. So you can pause and rewind again. Side effects of Dovato. There may be headache, insomnia, nausea and vomiting, dizziness, diarrhea. Diarrhea, we should be careful here because people with HIV will likely have diarrhea, right? And on top of that, there's diarrhea due to the medication we are using. So, which is which? Okay, fatigue, depression uh, can lead to suicide. And that could occur in about 2% of patients taking the vital. Though the percentage is pretty low, but then one might be too many. One is, please, there may be severe hepatotoxicity with dolute gravia. And remember, two medications in one. So we cannot cut dolute gravia off. They're already you know, together. You know, dolute gravia and lamivudine. So watch out. That's why when we're going through monitoring, as stated, liver function test will be done. More horrible liver damage if there is concomitant co-infection with hepatitis B virus. It is possible to have hepatitis B virus reactivation in those whose antiviral agents have been stopped. If you should add Abacava to Duvato, then the liver may be badly damaged the more to the point that a liver transplantation may be required. So, we can simply put this that Abacavia combination with Duvato is contraindicated because we don't want the patient to die from liver trouble. So, we need to have liver function tests done before drug therapy and also check for signs and symptoms of hepatotoxicity. We should discontinue this medication if there is hypersensitivity or there is reactivation of hepatitis B virus. Let me explain. This patient is already taking Dovato, and now there is hypersensitivity to Dovato. This medication must be discontinued immediately. Or there is reactivation of hepatitis B virus. Then, stop the medication immediately. There may be one of Graves' disease or other autoimmune diseases. Why that? Because the immune reconstitution syndrome with occurrence of an inflammatory response to an indolent or residual opportunistic infection may occur. Remember, once we have one autoimmune disease, we have to check out for other autoimmune diseases. GBS is a possibility. That may be up to megaly. And then let me go back to lactic acidosis because it could be fatal, could lead to death. That is why we will do arterial blood gases. And this is likely going to be the case in anyone that will be taking this medication, particularly females, obese, or steatosis has already occurred. There will be severe exacerbation of hepatitis B virus infection in anyone co-infected 
with HIV-1 and hepatitis B virus, particularly when lamivudine is discontinued. The best action is to start hepatitis B virus treatment. There may be lamivudine resistant hepatitis B virus infection if on the vital and co infected with hepatitis B virus. The other way out is to keep the vital away and choose the combination that includes hepatitis B virus treatment. Lastly, renal dysfunction with creatinine clearance less than 30 minutes per minute is an indication that we can now use Duvato. You could see this is a very useful medication in HIV-1 infected individuals, but we should be careful. We must rule out hepatitis B virus co-infection, and we must watch other medications that this individual may be taking at the same time. And also, we have to be very careful with the renal system. And we must rule out you know, lactic acidosis or situations that could promote lactic acidosis because that could lead to fatality. With that, I've come to the end of this presentation as per this good antiviral combination. Thanks for listening. Remember to share this. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it.